Hi, my name is Cody Connor. I'm with the University of Wyoming Outreach School, and I want to take a moment to tell you about ExamGuard. In your course, your teacher may choose to protect online examinations with ExamGuard. ExamGuard is a customized web browser that limits the use of your computer to the single task of completing and submitting an online exam. Before you can begin the exam, it requires that you download ExamGuard and install it on your computer. Simply put, ExamGuard is a browser within a browser that essentially freezes your computer while you're taking the exam. And while you're in that exam, you'll notice the following changes in functionality with your computer. The exam will display in full screen and cannot be minimized. Exams cannot be exited until they are submitted. Task switching or access to other applications is prevented. Printing functions are disabled. Print screen and capturing functions are disabled. Copying and pasting anything to and from an assessment or an exam is prohibited. The right-click menu options are disabled. The browser menu and toolbar options are disabled. Function keys are disabled. Source code for HTML page viewing is disabled. Lastly, screen capture, messaging, screen sharing, virtual machine, and networking monitoring applications are blocked from running. So now I'm going to show you how to install ExamGuard. First, I should tell you that there are written instructions available under the Install ExamGuard content item in your course shell. We're in a Windows computer, but you can download those by clicking on this link, or if you're in a Mac, on this link here. Now we're going to go ahead and download and install ExamGuard so I can show you what that process looks like. We have a practice quiz here that requires ExamGuard, and we know that because if we see the ExamGuard item here, it says that it's on. That means that it's required to be installed and running before we get into the exam. You notice if we try to begin the practice quiz, we can try to click through here and nothing will happen. We'll just get this blank screen that then refers us back. So we're going to click on practice quiz. We're going to click on the exam guard download and instructions link available right here. We'll click on that and this sends us to a page with the exam guard download link. We'll see, use this button here to download the exam guard. But I'm going to save this file to a place where I'll find it. I'm going to save it here on my desktop in a folder called exam guard. When that is done, I'm going to click open. That's going to open that folder and I see an application here. And when I go to open this application, it gives me a security warning. It's just simply telling me that I downloaded this file off the internet and it may be potentially harmful for my computer. But because we've downloaded this from a tr trusted source, we're going to go ahead and click run. This will then launch the installer and walk us through the installation process here. Let's hit next, next, and next. The wizard then will install ExamGuard, and depending on the speed of your computer, this may take a few moments. See, now we've installed ExamGuard. It tells us that it's complete. We'll hit the finish button here. And when you, after you've installed ExamGuard, you'll need to restart your browser. You'll see that, that instruction here right above the exam guard download button. So we'll go ahead and close Internet Explorer, open it up again, and log in. Okay, so we're back into our course shell here. I'm going to go back to the installing exam guard content or unit item and click on the practice quiz. Now that we have exam guard installed, we can hit begin practice now and begin our practice quiz. Once we do that, it'll ask us if we want to allow this website to open a program on our computer. In this case, the program is the lockdown browser, which is also exam guard. We're going to go ahead and click allow, and this will launch us right into that course practice quiz. Now I should mention that if you have issues with exam guard, specifically if you click on begin practice quiz and it gives you a blank screen or resets you back or refers you back to the, the unit item, many of these problems can be solved by resetting Internet Explorer. You do that by going to tools, selecting the last option, Internet options, and then clicking on the advanced tab on the far right and clicking reset this button here. This will delete all of your personal settings, including your saved usernames, passwords, and browsing history. So only do this as a last resort. You hit reset, and when you do that, you'll have to restart Internet Explorer, log back into your course, and try that again. This concludes the ExamGuard tutorial video. We hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.